Okay, I'm going to show you how to create a custom channel that you can assign various ads to. Various ads or one ad if you like. Like it's perfectly uh, up to you what, what how you do it. At the moment we're on uh, my ad units page. This is the name of the ad unit. And if you come across here, this is the name of the custom channel I have assigned the, to that particular um, ad unit. If we go into custom channels, and then we'll go through, we'll go back actually, you can see these are all the um, custom channels I have. If I click on one of them, you can see which ad unit is assigned to that particular um, custom channel so it's pretty pretty simple to understand so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a custom channel we haven't yet created an ad unit to go with this custom channel so what we could do I mean this this could be a custom channel for uh, a collection of um, ad units if, if, you, if you want so we cl click on custom channel and we could call that um, oh no, we'll call that um, group that's just for just for uh, the sake of brevity at the moment. We're going to call that group. And we, remember, we haven't got any ad units yet to put in there, so we're just creating the um, custom channel at the moment. So what we'll do then is we'll create, we'll we'll go into ad units, and we'll create uh, an ad unit, and we'll call that group group there and then what we'll do then is we'll scroll through these are custom channels that we've done already we'll scroll through there and now we have it that's the custom channel we just created so we'll do that and then we'll click save and if we go and have a quick look we'll find here we are, group here. As you can see, I'll scroll down a bit. As you can see, we've got group here, and then it's got group in there. We'll create another ad unit. Let's have a look. Right, we'll create another one. We'll call that group two. Spell that right, it would help. And then we'll go once again, we'll go and find our custom channel and we'll click group. So, what we're doing here is we're creating various ad units that are going to be on the one channel. So, we'll click save. And then we'll go down. You need to you've got group one and group two. These are our ad units. And you can see it's in here. And if we go to custom channels and we scroll back through and we can see here that's our channel group. We click on group. Wait, that, that, that open up. And here you go. You can see that we've got our two channels contained within, so our two ad units contained within that one channel. So that's uh, how you create a custom, chan a custom channel that's going to contain more than one ad unit. If you want to cre create an ad unit that has only one channel so that means that you can monitor just one ad unit rather than a group then I this is how I do it I go in here and I create a we'll call this one test test and we'll go down here now rather than just saving that we're going to create our custom channel at the same time as we're creating our ad unit so we'll go in here and we'll call that one 
test as well and then we'll just click save and we'll save that and we've already got one called test so we'll, we'll call that test 3 so we'll try that again well it seems that we've already got one because we'll test somewhere or oh, 4, I know we haven't got a 4 one so we'll call it 4 there we go so what we'll do now is we'll just um, scroll through and have a quick, uh, there we go, right, we can't quite, uh, can't quite see it so I'll just move this down slightly for you, there you go, uh, there you go, you got test, that's one we just created. That's our add unit, and that's our custom channel. So if we go into custom channels, and we go and look for test, we click on that's our custom channel that we just created at the same time. Let's click on that, and there you go. We've got the custom channel that we just created. Now, let's say you want to target that. You want you want advertisers to be able to see this channel, so they can make they may want to pay if it's, if it's a good if it's an interesting article that gets lots of visitors. They may want to bid and and and, and place their articles. What you would do is you would tick here, show this custom channel to advertisers. You would go in here, and then. Let's say so. Choose which article it's on, and, and and then add that in this little field here, and then from this drop-down menu, choose whereabouts on the page it is, so that it makes it easy for them to find it. And then just add a description of the of the actual unit itself, and then um, it makes it easy. You know, it gives them a good idea of what of what of what um what the page is all about. So and then click save, but we're not going to do that here. It just gives you an idea of what you can do. So I'll go back to add units again, and like I said, these are these are some of the ones I've already done. And as as you can see here, when I've created my add unit, I've given it a name that I recognise, um, and across here, I've done the same with my custom channels these are the ones you're going to be looking at this is how I like to do things this is off my tetraplegic living website so I always put TL in front and I make sure that um, I know so I've got TL my blog skyscraper I know exactly where that is so if that comes up in, in, in the statistics as someone's clicked on it I, I know which one it is and I've done the same for my Oscar Fish website. I'm gonna go back in the uh, opposite direction. So there we go, Oscar Fish Lover. All these are individual pages, so I know exactly which ones have been uh, clicked on. So that really is. Um, I hope that's. I hope you've understood how easy it is to create custom channels, and I would actually advise you to create a custom channel if you've got various ad units on your website you know you really want to know you want to know which ones are being clicked on if you don't have a custom channel then you, you can you, I mean there is a way of doing it um, you can you can always click on uh, if you go to home and then click on uh, channel channels today then you can actually you can't see it yes you can for a minute you can click on add units and then all add units get report it will actually show you which um, add units have been uh, clicked on here but it's a bit messy you know it's much easier if you um, create a custom channel and then basically you can see what's what that I can't show you 
um, it's against Google policies to show you detail reports but I will add a screenshot to show you um, the reports that you will get and what you will see so I hope that's um, understandable if it isn't then drop me a message and uh, I may be able to explain a little bit more in detail cheers for now